Today we're in the city of Hamilton chasing waterfalls. This is actually the fourth waterfall I've been to this morning. Uh, the other three were completely dry or near completely dry. Um, I guess, you know, it is the middle of July and uh, there's no water in these waterfalls. Yeah, so I was here three weeks ago um, and the water level has dropped significantly. Gr granted, I think I was here just after a storm, but I took a photo of a small plant over here. Uh, this plant's definitely dead or very, very much smaller than it used to be. Yeah, I'm going to be able to get quite wide, uh, even though I need to be right next to this waterfall. But um, that might be okay. So I've got my two second timer on here. Yeah. Nice one. Well, I've got this beautiful, what looks like a snapping turtle hanging out. I hope I'm not disturbing it. It's clear that most of the time this is quite a lush waterfall because you can see all of this clay, all of this moss that's sort of growing. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, there's a little crayfish, something of some kind. And yeah, this turtle which is actually going to be uh, my main subject. All right, so I think I'm going to take a look at what's going on up this hill here. There's quite a lot of foliage and I'm really not getting a lot of contrast down by the water there. So I think I'll just try something different. Yeah, so this is a little bit strange. Um, this hill that I'm on, let me see if I can flip the camera around and show you. This hill that I'm on is uh, completely made of mud and gravel and it's both wet and slippery. It's quite safe. All right, so I've just done scouting this uh, this area behind me. I think this might be my composition here, given that I'm really not getting any contrast in this waterfall. We sort of see as we go. Uh, and, you know, it's not that bad. It's not great, but, um, you know, maybe it will be. So I'm standing up on this hill here, um, and I don't really like the composition I have very much. Um, I've got the waterfall, and I've got these leaves here, but the, the leaves look dirty and kind of tattered. Maybe that's okay. Maybe in post I'm going to find that I really like them. Um, but, you know, I've been able to crop out some of the annoying bits, and now I've got this nice balance between the green of these leaves on this side and the green of these uh, hills on the other side here. So I might make something of this. Okay, so I think I got something that I'm really happy with. Let me show you the back of the camera. I've been able to use these leaves on the right side. I found a sort of different grouping of leaves, um, and I like them. They take up quite a lot of the frame, but I think I might probably crop that out. And I've got the waterfall sort of just left to the center. Um, and, you know, the water pool that it's creating kind of underneath it. The only challenge is that I have this sort of tree here and I'm just kind of grabbing one of the leaves and pulling it out of the way to the re reveal the rest of the shot. So I'm underexposing this shot a little bit by what this says minus one, which is three stops of light. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because if I bring this back up to the correct exposure, I can see in the top here that I'm getting a little bit of zebra display. Um, and I, you know, when I was a beginner photographer, I used to overexpose nearly everything because I would trust this piece here. And in some cases, I would trust the histogram. Uh, and what I would find was that what I would get at home, and no, there were parts of the highlights that I couldn't pull back. And this is very important in waterfall photography because you need detail in the water. You need to be able to pull that out. And if it's just a white blur, um, people are going to notice that. They're going to look at your shot and know that 
it's not a very good shot, but they're not going to know why. So as you can see, I'm shooting at f16, ISO 100, and as I'm on aperture priority, that's giving me a shutter speed of 0.8 seconds. I'm going to try focusing on these leaves in the foreground here. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to try focusing on the waterfall. So I love this feature on my Sony camera uh, called the divider frame. And let me show you what it is. If I hit bottom here, it says created a divider frame. And you'll see it right away when I go into my preview um, that it's just this frame that is a, you know, when you get it into, uh, when you get it into Photoshop or something, what you can see is just the smallest JPEG uh, with just an arrow. But when you look at your entire library, uh, you can see all these divider frames. And so I used to, you know, put my hand in front of the camera to create like a darkened down shot or sometimes a flashlight, just something to be able to, you know, when I was on location, I'm able to say, you know, this is the shot that I want. Um, but then when I get home, I got to look through every single one of them to figure out exactly which one I wanted to take. Well, this sort of clears all of that up because I'm able to take this divider frame and then I can separate all my shots up and things that are test shots, I'll know to ignore them. Um, and it just, it cleans up your workflow afterwards. So mostly I'm waiting around to see if the lighting improves. The sun is rising and uh, you should be able to see this on this camera, but there's a little bit of light catching a tree far in the background. I, I might even crop that out of the frame at this point, or I've got a couple that uh, I took a few minutes ago. Um, but I wonder if the light's going to get a little bit nicer and maybe come down and illuminate this waterfall a little bit and we'll get some really interesting dramatic scenes from here. Well let's go ahead and take a couple shots. I'm going to focus here on these foreground leaves. And I'll focus on the middle of the waterfall here. success. I think I'm going to head back to the car, grab a little bit of coffee. Uh, I've got some hot noodles. I think I might cook those, um, but I might also stop at Tim Hortons or something on the way home. I don't quite know. Bye for now.